Hey, how you guys doing out there? Welcome back once again to the Motherboards.org YouTube channel. I'm Eric Ferris, your host. Got another unboxing for you folks. This one's for the AMD gang out there. Now, as you guys know, the new Lano processors came out. These are actually an APU, which is a combination of your CPU, GPU, and everything all together in one solid package. That being said, we're gonna look at Gigabyte's latest trend into this. Now, this is a motherboard that's gonna be priced very well. It'll be like about $140 onto the market. It's very competitive, got a lot of nice features. This is the A75 UD4H motherboard. Now, that being said, um, we'll go ahead and open the dang thing up so you guys can see what comes inside the packaging. Show you guys real quick. We'll zoom in and let you guys see this from the box. We'll go all old school on you guys from the back of the box. You guys can always increase the size of the video if you want to see this, by the way. So we'll go ahead and pop this open. Now, th this being said, these motherboards are going to be really great for those people who are light gamers or people looking for an all-in-one system. Um, a lot of the tests online that I've seen from people who don't really know anything about computers are very satisfied with the performance of how these go. And um, we tested the 3850 before. It came out pretty well, decent testing. Here's the multi-installation guide right here, multilingual, for those folks out there who speak other languages than English. Got the little gigabyte sticker right there to mark it down. You've got two of your cables right here, your SATA. These are your SATA 3.0 cables as well. We also have the AMD Fusion Utility DVD that's going to have all of your drivers, everything you need to get your system going after you install Windows. You just pop that thing in, it should auto run and install all of your drivers. Here's also the manual. This will tell you all the features of your motherboard, everything about it, what you need to know. You read it from front to back, you'll know everything there is to know about the GAA75 UD4H. Here's the rear I.O. I really like Gigabyte's rear I.O. because everything is written down. It tells you exactly what it is, so even if you're a novice, you can go, hey, that's what that is. Pretty cool stuff. So all this right here is the bundle, or what would be the bundles page on www.motherboards.org. I'll go ahead and get this out of your way, and we'll take a look at the motherboard itself. Now, these things I think are going to be great for a lot of different uses. For people who are just entry level and stuff, they're going to be really nice. Especially if you don't want to be the person who want to go out and buy a video card, buy this, buy that. It'll be really easy just to set an APU out. Now, by the way, here, I'm going to show you guys this. Keeps completely sealed. Sealed package all the way. I'll go ahead and uh, de-virginize this thing and open it up. We'll see if it has that new product smell. I like that electronic smell, does it? Oh yeah, it smells nice and electronic in there. All right, so we'll go ahead and pop the thing out. Got a nice big blue PCB here, as you can see that. All the silicon here across the entire thing's old school blue. We even got a little, little thing right here protecting that. So here's the ZIF socket right here. This supports the Alano CPU. Plenty of room around there, although I don't think many people are going to do too much overclocking with this whatsoever. It's pretty much for the all-in-one solution person. But you can still you can still see the quality of the motherboard still here. you got your low ferrite choke, your Japanese capacitors, all the MOSFETs are being completely cooled by the cooling solution right here. And down here on the other chipset, you also have complete cooling there as well. So everything's being nice and cooled fine. We've got the 8-pin power connector right here, the 24-pin power connector right here. Then over here we see the memory slots. You can see it supports DDR3 memory. This is dual channel. The board actually supports up to 32 gigabytes of memory. Some of the previous boards that we looked at only took 16, but this one actually does take 32 gigabytes and the eight gigabyte sticks are currently available over on www.newegg.com. Seen them there myself. So I don't know if I got this or not, but we'll go down here. We have one, two, three of the standard PCI 1X slots, two standard PCI slots, and then we have just one PCI 16X slot and one PCI 8X slot. Um, this board is really gonna be pretty much basic. Um, the features on it aren't gonna be very much. It's going to support Crossfire. I know that right out of the box is gonna support that. I do not believe this supports SLI in any way, shape, or form. So it's you know gonna support that and that's gonna be about it. Has good onboard audio, has 108 dB. So if you wanna to listen to your Blu-ray movies and everything, it actually has sound that qualifies for that. Down here, we're going to move on down. We see the connectors for the breakout box. These are USB 3.0 breakouts that you see right here. Over here, we have some additional USB things right here, and then your FireWire connection right here if you so choose to use an additional one on the rear port if you want. Um, also, we can see over here, these right here, oops, sorry about that, folks. These right here are your SATA connectors. They're both SATA 3.0, and we have an external eSATA one right there. You can see that. I'll just pop that over so you guys can see that. Angle a little bit more so you can see it. I'm gonna flip it around the rear I.O. Now remember this board, I said before, is really geared what I think for people who are using an all-in-one PC. 
such as like an HTPC. This would be a good board, otherwise it's a little bit large. If it's smaller, it would be better for that. But for everybody who wants an all-in PFD, you can see you have all the connections back here for your video and audio, all your USB 3.0, and all that stuff's all in the rear I.O. We'll go over everything more of the features when we do the full review, but this was the unboxing. So you guys can see everything comes in the new GAA75 UD4H from the people over at Gigabyte. We'll see you guys in the full review very soon here at motherboards.org.